Welcome. God. Welcome back, channel, everybody. Welcome back to a follow up video to my Dodge Defects video just from three days ago, or I'm sorry, three videos ago, where I shared the story about the gentleman who bought the Scat Pack right before Christmas and then shortly thereafter, days thereafter, heard a squeaking sound and some issues going on in the back of the car and ultimately took it to a dealership who dug into it and found what they referred to as a weld bond failure and a belief that one of the robots ran out of glue to bond the body together in certain critical places that definitely compromised the structural inte integrity of the car and potentially the safety of the car and TK was livid about it and Butter was livid about it and they, we all jumped on the videos. And this gentleman shared the information with us. Butter sent us the whole story that was on the Charger forums and the Challenger forums and we dug in and we did videos. And I knocked one out, I felt like, and I started off with saying, look, I feel like I just have this, this obligation to try to help this guy because it appeared that Dodge just wanted him to to get it fixed, repaired, which was gonna be a nearly $30,000 repair. And it was gonna take months before the repair could even be started and likely ever finished. And it would have been such a serious, a significant surgery on that car that there very likely would have been a Carfax, which would have ultimately killed the value of that car, the resale value of that car, permanently leaving an indelible mark on the Carfax that any future buyer would be concerned in buying a car that had to have such significant repair done so early in the birth of the car. And that was not cool. If you buy something brand new, that something should be, at the very least, have a return policy if that thing is significantly defective. And in this case, it was. And just repairing it was not the solution. And I used analogies like going and buying a TV and, and coming home and that TV is, is broken from the store. They should trade it for another TV or give you your money back. This isn't a, we'll fix it and we'll see you in two or three months and good luck walking to work every single day or Ubering or renting a car. That's not the right answer. And unfortunately, whoever at Dodge who was making the decisions ultimately rejected the buyback multiple times and according to the, the whole entire story that this gentleman shared is this was several times where they came back and said no we went back and they rejected it again we are not buying back the car you just have to go through with the repair which was not the right answer and I did a video TK did a video butter did a video we pushed this out there and what I wanted to do this video for is just to make the point that while most of you are incredibly supportive of a lot of these videos that we're doing about the dealerships and sometimes they seem, you know, kind of repetitive over and over again, it's this dealership did that, that dealership did this, we wouldn't be doing these videos if they weren't doing the shady things. We wouldn't be talking about Dodge if Dodge was doing things right, if Dodge was listening to the customers. And what are we supposed to do? Say nothing and just let these things happen? I'm more than willing to hand the torch over to someone else if they want to do it, but I've got a following. I've got 70,000 people following, and these videos are 10, 15, 20, in one case, 445,000 views large exposing some insane behavior. And I've found more insane behavior than I'm gonna share in a couple other videos because unless we continue to call these things out, nothing changes, right? If a tree falls in the woods, doesn't make a sound. Well, if a bad things happen to a guy like this and nobody says anything, then this guy never has a resolution and ultimately has to live in months and months of pain and torture getting the thing solved. Yet we continually, continually hear the term brotherhood. Well, I believe the brotherhood is fractured when it comes to, in many cases, from the dealers to us, well that's not a brotherhood anymore unless you hate your brother, and from Dodge to us based on Stellantis' decisions with EVs and a lot of other things, and then this decision of not buying back this car, that that's not a brotherhood. But we're all taking over the brotherhood in that the more of you that watch these videos, the more attention they get from Dodge 
that actual change takes place. Actual actions take place. Actual solutions arise. Actual military service member ends up getting getting a Dodge Demon delivered to him or promised to him, which he will hopefully be getting, and we'll see that happen with the Jane Leno's garage because a dealership decides to screw him out of it and sell it to somebody else. And until Butter does a video, I do a video, TK does a video, Modern Red Hemi and Lucky Lopez and, and Racer X and everybody jumps on and does a video on this, nobody's doing anything to solve this guy's problem. All of a sudden, you know, a few million views out there collectively for everybody and suddenly, oh, oops, oops, we got to solve the problem. We're going to fix this. We're going to get the guy a car. The dealership unwinds selling the car to the other guy, gets it back, says, you can have your car back. And, and then Tim Kaniscus jumps in like Superman and saves the day and, and, and says, we're getting you a car, man. And you're going to get it delivered to you if you so choose at Jay Leno's Garage. And we end up with that happy ending, a wonderful ending to a story that should have never, ever happened. And frankly, I should have never been able to do a video about because if it didn't happen, I wouldn't have a video to talk about. TK wouldn't have a video to talk about. Well, in this case, with this weld bond issue, it was spiraling out of control. And, and you got to think of the helplessness that, that this guy had in continually getting the no, 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 no responses to fixing it until videos that we all do start to get out there. And I don't want to say that we use these as weapons, but they are definitely weaponized, if you will, because when Dodge sees them, maybe these situations never even found their way to Kaniscus, and Kaniscus now sees one of our videos, which I know he watches a lot of our videos, or someone brings it to his attention, and now all of a sudden, it's like parting of the Red Sea. The man now gets a complete refund and a complete resolution, and I'm going to read this to you right now because it warms my heart. And is it me trying to get credit for TK and Butter and myself? Absolutely. Because this YouTube thing's actually working. I make a little bit of money on the videos, but this guy's going to get a lot of money saving and brain damage saving by getting this solution. And he credits the videos. And I credit, I credit you all. Because if you didn't watch them, if we did these videos and they had three views, they would never find their way into the algorithm and to the people that can actually make decisions to solve the problem. So the true credit goes to all of you for taking the time to show interest in watching these videos and, and comment and pull for the underdog, the guy that's getting a flat out no, hitting a block wall, getting told, no, we're not going to solve the problem. No, you got to get it fixed. No, your car fax is going to suck. It's going to be three months before you see your car again. And sorry, you, this is just the way it's going to be. And you know, you can ask us, ask us again and keep getting the same answer. Well, because of all of you watching the videos, commenting on the videos, not bashing me for, for doing repetitive videos or saying negative things, but jumping in and saying, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable from the general public, from the customer base that has loved your brand for so long, Dodge. It's unacceptable. And then for a CEO that I want to give massive credit to, and I'll keep giving him credit because as much as some of you want to beat the daylights out of him, I believe this guy is in a rock and a hard place working for Stellantis. And he's never going to get up and say this, but he's got a job that pays him really, really well. And not a single one of you on there wouldn't say, man, yeah, I'd take a run at that job. Uh, for the money and to be able to work at a what's used to be and hopefully someday will be a very cool company again but if not then it is what it is he's there trying to do his best with what he has and when he gets involved things get resolved but it's an enormous company so he can't get involved in everything which is why we're here we're here to jump in and help so let me read this to you this is a message to Butter, the insider. So check out his uh, link in the description below to go check out his channel. And this is the gentleman that this issue happened to, where his scat pack had the weld bond issue. And it was a no, 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 until the videos came out. He wrote, Butter, I did not believe it. This morning, Mike McDonald from Tim Kaniscus's office called me. Before I say anything, I want to pause. The brotherhood is truly alive. What you and TK and OC has done for me, I will always be grateful. 
I can thank you a thousand times and it will still fall short. Your efforts and time have paid dividends for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mike called me and said they will not only buy the car back, but also reimburse me for the three monthly payments. That is more than I asked for. I am so happy. I am so grateful to you. Thank you. Mike has assured that we will have a resolution by this week, and he also agreed that he saw the YouTube videos and said he would not have repaired the car himself if he was in my shoes. Thank you. My five-year-old is ecstatic now because dad does not have to drive around a broken car. Armand. Does that warm your heart? Like, let's take a minute. A minute just to just to revel in this happy ending. That makes all of this worth it. All these videos. And make no mistake, it's hard. I'm working. I'm dressed for work. I'm a, I'm a suit today. To be able to knock these videos out, still do, you know, 60 hours a week, just working my tail off and get these videos going and butter to still run a full-time career that he's got outside of YouTube and TK, Lord knows, this guy's everywhere doing all kinds of other stuff and to do these things and oftentimes make a little bit of money but then have these outcomes, that inspires me to do more and I'm just going to end with this. While he says he can't thank us enough, it's not me, it's not butter. It's not TK. Yes, we're, we're putting the stuff out there. But it is all of you for liking these videos, for subscribing to our channels, for commenting and showing interest and support of a guy like this going through this because that's how these videos get spread. That's how these videos find themselves to the right people. And that's how this whole thing led to a positive final outcome. And if you look at this since the last three or four months we've been doing this, how many people, we're probably talking well over a million dollars of savings. When a gentleman gets a check cut back to him for a markup because of our videos, this actually happened. When another guy gets his car unwound, who got totally screwed and promised that this car would be a collector's item and it wasn't, and he realized that and wanted his money back, and TK rattles the daylights out of the cages of the dealership and they end up giving the money back and ask everybody just to please let it go. When dealers advertise fake prices and you, 445,000 of you watch it and they end up taking it off the website and stop the shady tactics or at least do, at least do much less of them, <laughs> we're making absolute change. But it's because of all you watching these videos. So, so for that reason, I'm thanking all of you on behalf of all these people that have been saved so far for watching, for liking, for subscribing, for commenting, for sharing these videos, and for helping support the cause in getting getting things in the world made right. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.